Today, inshallah, we will move on to talk about some of the aspects of the, some of the characteristics of the heart. We will try to understand the heart more. We will try to approach the heart. The word qalb comes from taqallub, which is flipping, flipping and fluctuation. The heart is being called qalb because it keeps flipping. It changes from one state to the other. You know, a person, a human being, goes through different ups and downs. Sometimes a person feels happy. Just a few, a few seconds later, the same person feels sad. Sometimes you have hope, sometimes you're desperate. Sometimes, you know, you are willing to do something. A few seconds later, you don't want to do it. So this is the reality of human beings and this is the reality of the heart keeps fluctuating, keeps flipping from one side to the other, from one opinion to another. And the Prophet ﷺ pointed to this reality or to this fact when he said, That the heart is between two of the fingers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He flips them as he wishes. So the heart is between two of the fingers of Allah and Allah flips the hearts as he wishes. Obviously, according to his knowledge, according to his wisdom and according to his justice. This is the general context of this hadith. The heart has been designed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah put a need in the heart to know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to know the descriptions of Allah, to know the attributes of Allah. Everything Allah told us about Himself in the Quran and the Prophet sallallahu told us about Allah in, this, in the authentic sunnah is something that the heart needs in order to find real tranquility, real happiness and real success. Now something else we have to point out that as human beings have life, the heart also has its own life with its own characteristics, with its own traits, the heart has a special kind of life. The scholars have pointed out from their own understanding that they have derived from the Quran and the authentic Sunnah that as human beings have life, the heart has life and the real life in this world is the life of the heart. This is why the people who have no knowledge about Allah, the people who have no faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as He told us about Himself in the Quran and the authentic Sunnah, these people have no real life because there is the life of the heart and there is the life of the body. These are two types of life that we have. The majority of human beings, they focus their attention on the life of the body while neglecting the life of the heart. And this is why they leave their hearts suffer until they die while focusing and paying great attention to the life of the body. And the reality is there is a higher form of life and a lower or a lesser form of life. The lower one is the life of the body. Why? Because the animals have this. The animals have this life of the body and they live throughout their lives only with this lesser or this lower quality of life but, but there is the spiritual type of life there is the higher life which is the life of the heart which animals have no clue about and unfortunately i can say that a great deal among human beings have no clue about the life of the heart and real happiness is not in the lower level of life but it's in the higher level of life that is the life of the heart this is why real happiness is only given to the people of iman the people of true faith know what real happiness means yes the people who are chasing the uh, the the pleasures and the desires of this world the carnal desires these people have moments of joy but it's not real happiness Real happiness is contentment, a deep and a profound sense of contentment, of you know, being satisfied with what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you. This real and profound sense of contentment is real happiness and it can be only given to the people of Iman, the people of faith, the hearts that are full with knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the hearts that are content with what Allah has given them. But the people who are after their desires, 
they have moments of joy but it's not real happiness and as the heart has life every living thing as long as it is described as having life it must suffer from something called diseases and illnesses human beings suffer from diseases why because they are alive animals suffer from diseases why because they are alive plants suffer from diseases why because they are a living creature so every living creature as long as it has life it has to suffer from something called diseases the hearts they have the quality of life they also have the quality of being prone to diseases to illnesses and this is something very important because many people's hearts are so diseased have been suffering from illnesses until they reached the point where they are dead their life has been taken away from them and when the spiritual heart is diseased when the spiritual heart is problematic then one's relationship with Allah Azza wa Jal as well is problematic and realize that when it comes to the spiritual heart, it is far more important than the physical heart. Our Prophet Sallallahu said, Inna Allah Ta'ala la yanzuru ila suwarikum wa la ila ajsamikum walakin yanzuru ila a'malikum wa ila qulubikum. That know that Allah does not look at your shapes nor at your bodies, but rather Allah looks at your deeds and at your hearts. Ila a'malikum wa ila qulubikum. What is important to Allah is not the physical shape. People are different shapes and is by and large beyond our control. How and what color and what Allah created us. Notice by the way that most of us, in fact, maybe all of us, we spend hours worrying about the outer state. How do I look? Do I look good in this? How is my hair? Is it combed? And yet very few of us think about the internal state. And people judge us by external states. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala judges us by our internal state. People look at your outer shape and body. People look at how are you dressed, how are you physically fit, how this, how that. But Allah azza wa jal does not care about your outer bodies. Allah cares about your deeds and about your qulub, about your hearts. This is why the scholars have classified the hearts into three types or three categories. They are all mentioned in the Quran. The first type of hearts is Al Qalbu Salim, the sound and intact heart. This heart lives a life of tranquility, a life of peace and happiness. It's in it has the highest forms or the highest level of real life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that on the day of judgment, nothing will be of benefit except for a sound heart. The only thing that will benefit human beings is a sound heart. So those who come to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of judgment with a cultivated heart, those people will be admitted to paradise. So this is the first type of a heart. It's called al qalbu salim There are two illnesses, two diseases that affect the heart. The first one is al-shahawat, the desires the lusts, the desire. That's the first type of disease. The second type is a shubuhat, the doubts or the misconceptions. These are the two types of ailments that affect the heart. If we understand these and know how to fight these diseases, we will be able to take good care of our hearts. The heart of the believer, the Quran describes it as soft. The Quran describes it as soft. Allah tells us in the Quran that the believers, their hearts, when Allah is mentioned, it trembles. The believers are those when they listen to the Quran, they cry. The believers are those they have a tender and merciful heart. The believers are those whose iman goes up in the heart. All of this is linked to the heart in the Quran. So the hearts of the believers are gentle. The hearts of the believers are soft. And the opposite of this is the hard heart, the qaswatul qalb. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions qaswatul qalb in the Quran in a number of verses. Of them is Surah Baqarah, when Allah Azza wa Jal describes the Bani Israel, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did perhaps one of the greatest miracles, and He resurrected a, a, a dead man in front of their eyes. After this, what does Allah say? The very next verse. ثُمَّ قَسَتْ قُلُوبُكُمْ مِنْ بَعْدِ ذَلِكَ After you saw all of this, your hearts became hard. 
ثم قست قلوبكم من بعد ذلك فهي كالحجارة أو أشد قسوة Your hearts were even harder than rocks Solid rocks Allah is describing the spiritual heart as being harder than a physical rock. And then Allah says, no, it was even harder than a rock.